Let's look at this box and whisker of boys and girls pop little length in centimeters or 15 year old boys and girls. We are taking a sample of 30 for both boys and girls and this is the summary statistics. So the median of boys is 48 and the median for girls is 42. So the first thing that we can clearly write is the median shift MS stands for the median I'll make abbreviation median shift. Median shift is the difference between the median. So the median shift is 6 centimeters. Okay, so let's write certain facts which, which will be useful in the calculation. The next is overall visible spread. Over, o, overall, overall visible visible spread and let me make an abbreviation which is OVS OVS what is OVS or overall visible spread it is the difference between the lower of the lower quartile and the upper of the upper quartile so this is 39 is the lower of the lower quartile. You've got this is the lower quartile of boys and this is the lower quartile of girls. So the lower of the lower quartile and the upper of the upper quartile, the difference between those two is called the overall visible spread. So this is say 39, this is 39 and this is 54. Okay, so 39, 39 plus 1 is 40 and then 14, so it's 15. 15 centimeters. So I want to talk about how can you make conclusion based on these two uh, values. So as a rule of thumb for a sample of 30 for a sample, so let me before I give you the rule, so let me find can, can I write this as a percent? So median shift divided by overall visible spread. If you write this as a, so this, this is how much, 6 divided by 15 is 0.4 and if you want to write 0.4 as a percent, it is 40 percent. Now what does this mean? This means that for this box, this 42, for this median 42 to match up with this 48, this box has to move 40% of the overall visible spread. So let me write, this implies for the median of girls, for the median of girls, of girls to match or match up with boys, with boys, median box of girls, median box, we're talking about this box, median box of girls, median box of girls should move should move should move 40 percent of the overall visible spread that's what this means 40 percent of overall visible spread and as a rule of thumb this that move is a big move okay so here we can say based on this that this implies we can make so let me type this so what does this mean? This means, I can type faster, this means, uh, let me make it a bigger font so that you can see clearly. So that, so you can say we can make the call or make the decision that back in the two population 
of boys and girls based on the sample of 30 that the boys pop lipteal length is length is greater than that of boys okay I okay so this is what we can see now what's the rule of the thumb so this is again a rule that you need to remember good to remember this rule which will be not given okay for a sample of 30 for a sample of 30 if the median shift divided by the overall visible spread is greater than 33 and 1 over 3 percent then we can make the call that the median shift is big enough to make the call. So the whole uh, conclusion is based on this thought that are we able to make the call that the difference between the medians of boys and girls is big enough to make us to make that decision that the uh, popular length of boys is greater than that of girls. For that let me repeat you have to find the overall visible spread and if that ratio, this ratio, if median shift divided by overall visible spread, OVS, is greater than 33 and one third percent, or greater than one third, then you can make the decision that uh, the median shift is big enough to make that call. But if this ratio is less than 33 percent you can't make the call that the median shift or the difference between the median is big enough to make the call back in the population from the given sample of 30.